Hello everyone, thank you so much for joining me today on yet another video on how to fix uh, the infamous 0xc 000007B. As you can see, there it is. Today we have this origin uh, setup application error. If you guys remember, I already did um, several other videos on how to fix this error, specifically with Epic Games Launcher and uh, GTA V Resident Evil 2 Remake and several other games you, you can find all these videos in my channel and today we have something different and uh, I'm going to include additional steps uh, just in case uh, you tried other tutorials on YouTube and it did not work so you're trying a different tutorial on how to make it work and I don't blame you I mean if I had this problem I'd be flipping YouTube uh, on its head just to find a solution and hopefully my video today will help you eliminate this problem once and for all and not only with origin uh, because I tested it I tested this fix with other games and it works just fine so I'm assuming that you came here from other tutorials and you tried to edit those files a little bit tried to replace a few files here and there so we can have like a fresh start uh, to go from this one uh, first, I would like you to uh, check your system and make sure that you're using a system 64-bit uh, Because if you're using a 64-bit system, it doesn't matter if you are on Windows 7, Windows 8 or Windows 10 Because they all uh, use the same files. I'm talking about all the versions, all the 64-bit versions They use the same files uh, So make sure that you have the 64-bit version and also make sure that you have all the important drivers and updates are uh, installed and working fine as you see your display adapters uh, or the sound adapters um, network adapters and so on and so forth now don't worry about this one it's not really uh, needed for, for 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 this video tutorial okay so I already fixed this on my main machine uh, this is my laptop and I'm gonna try it on my laptop as well just to make sure that the fix uh, works for all of them so uh, let's go ahead and start with what you need first. What you need is, uh, well, I'm going to include a link in the description for you to download this WinRAR file here. I will include these important programs for your uh, system. Make sure you install these that are outside. Start with those, and if it asks you for a system reboot, uh, go for it. Um, don't worry about this one. Um, just come here to Visual C Runtimes. And uh, make sure you do these one by one manually. Now, I know that you, you have this install all and everything, but um, I think it would be better to just do these manually because sometimes I think one or two of these will ask you to restart your computer before you can uh, go on further. If you do the install all, I think it will install them all and then ask you to reboot your computer. Some of them may or may not take effect. I'm not sure about that, but it's best if you just do them manually. And one more note, see when you click this and they and it asks you to, um, when you click it, and when it asks you to, uh, to either repair it or uninstall it because you already have a version of it uh, installed, just choose repair, okay? Just like this, uh, choose repair and go forward with that because um, as I've found in some other tutorials on YouTube that they have some files that are included and they also like modify uh, the original files from these uh, programs so make sure that you click on repair so that you'll have your uh, original files instead of modified ones okay so click repair next I don't have to do this because if I do it you know they it might ask for a system reboot um, I did it uh, before recording this video so make sure you go through all of them choose repair if you already have them if you don't have them that's great it means your system will install them and you'll have your original files. Um, okay, so repair, next, 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 uh, finish the installation and on to the second one. I guess I don't have to do it again because I've already done it. So let's just close this. So make sure you do them all manually one by one. Once you're done with that, uh, I want you to go to the second one, which is also included in the description. You'll find a link there. You, when you download it, just uh, extract the files here. Let's just extract them to desktop. It doesn't really matter. Here they are. Uh, you click this. You'll find visual, uh, visual, uh, and uh, zero xc. You start with this one first. As you can see here, my original 
um, folder that contained DirectX files in previous videos had only like 101 files. If you notice here, I have 104 because I added 43, 46, and 47. And I also uh, replaced a few files here and there to just for the compatibility of the 64-bit system because, you know, when you download DirectX files, you get both the uh, 32 and 64 uh, versions. I replaced a few files here and there just to make sure uh, that they're, they're all compatible with one another. So just copy these like this. Uh, or you can select them all using the uh, keyboard. Anyway, so you come to C, Windows, uh, you come to System32 and you paste them here. You do this for all other files. Uh, skip, skip. There you go. So now we have the files copied to system32. You go do the same with system64. And uh, yeah, you replace everything. Continue. And then it gives you this. You need permission. Just skip it, skip it, and you'll have your files. Great. So now we have our files, our DirectX files copied with the additional uh, files that I added. They are copied to both system32 and system64. And if I'm going fast, I guess you can just always revert back and uh, check out uh, what I did in that step. So now that we've done this, another important uh, step that you have to do is you come here. Now, if when you open this, uh, I made sure that the 32-bit files are separate from the 64-bit files for a reason. Because what you need here is that you make sure that you have this one. Um, in Windows System 32 because it's for the 32-bit. I already did it, so it's right here. Great. And uh, you want to make sure as well that uh, you have the other one in the 64-bit um, folder. So the 64, make sure. Now, I know that I included these as well, just in case you don't have them, but I think that the moment you install all those Visual Cs, you will have this one. In and in case you don't have them, uh, just copy both of them. It's okay. You just copy both of them to the 64 uh, part right here. Oh, wait, sorry, not here. Windows and uh, System 64. And you paste them just like that. See, or there's already a difference. And that's why it's not working. So you have them here. And once you're done, you can run Origin and it will work. No problem. As you can see, now it's running. Earlier it showed the error and now it's working fine. So uh, let's check it out real quick. Uh, processes. Yep, it is here. It's right here. It's running and Origin confirms the work, the, the fix that that is. So let's stop this. Epic Games also still works. So um, yeah. I think this is it. This hopefully will fix all the problems in all the games and not just um, Origins or Epic Games Launcher or something like that. So um, that does it for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me again. Uh, please consider subscribing to my channel if you haven't already and make sure to like this video, share it with your friends so that they can fix their problems as well because that will help me out a lot. Um, another thing is that um, if you're having problems downloading these files um, from the description box below, from the links that I will include there, just make sure you disable your ad block and uh, allow notifications. I mean, it's free. You just allow notifications for 15 minutes, 10 minutes, and then you can uh, you can disable them once again. And um, yeah, you'll be notification free. So make sure you do that before telling me that the links uh, don't work because they do. I will because I check them, I check them regularly. So uh, that's it. So thank you for joining me, and I will see you in the next video.